as you all know, the world tension has gone really, really high uh, for the past few days since it's 2020. So I want to share my thought on the current world situation right now. Uh, my feelings and my interest right now are fully, you know, like into the current situation more than uploading my own content. I know, right? So here's my take on it. Uh, for the past few decades, uh, the Americans, you know, United States, they have been, you know, uh, spending a lot, lots and lots of money and lots of cash on building their uh, equipment, building their defense, you know, United States, the people himself. So here's what I've known for like years ago. America, if you attack their bases, if you attack their... Uh, you know, let's say a military compound, they will strike back like a normal war. Yeah, they will strike back like a normal war. But if you kill their people, yeah, that's what I just said. If you retaliate into their people, let's say the World Trade Center situations, well, definitely you can, you can tell what happened to Osama bin Laden. Yeah, they will avenge. They will avenge. So that's just how I see Americans. You know, Americans are afraid of getting their people killed, but they aren't afraid to go to war on other people's land. So the world situation right now is kind of messed up. You know, uh, President Trump kind of uh, say that he killed Ghazam Salami to avoid future tensions. And despite of that, so many people on internet making memes out of it. I know, right? Even I posted memes. <laughs> I know, I know. It's kind of funny and it's kind of dangerous at the same time. And basically, I feel like uh, it's it's kind of a thing because people on the internet really don't believe uh, this, the, 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 the calamity. Uh, they, they don't really believe the, the, the whole situations, you know, how it's going to end up, the wars, you know. Uh, it can be started be uh, between, you know, uh, United States and Iran. Yeah. And Iran, you know, they have allies. They have Russia. They have China. Trust me. If they're going to war, if USA going to war with Iran, Iran's going to need allies. Iran's going to need those nations in uh, the Middle East. And they will have equipment from China. They will have equipment... Uh, from the Russians, definitely they're gonna have that. And about the Americans, they don't really need any equipment because they only have, they have already their own equipment already. So it's gonna be a bloody battle. But I do believe that, uh, the withdrawal of troops in Middle East, and you know the non-involvement in Venezuela, the non-involvement in North Korea, uh, the Korean Peninsula, and also. To just one strikes on, you know, on Gozam Salami, I believe that Donald Trump is trying to withdraw the situation. Even though many people view it as a crazy, crazy, stupid tactics, I do believe that he just wants to avoid. But I also believe that Iran is not going to sit there because they just pull, you know, they just got, they just pull their flag, the red flag. Uh, I look on some news. Uh, yesterday's on some local news and there's a video showing Iran uh, you know putting on a red flag on one of their mosques you know the Muslim temple they call it mosque so pretty much I know that Iran's gonna retaliate and they're gonna need a lot of stuff they're gonna buy a lot of equipment tanks artillery they're gonna have some special force and despite the fact that the world tension is getting higher People on the internet still making memes. Some people joke about getting draft in the war. Some people joke about uh, change their sex, uh, uh, their gender. You know, some jokes and stuff. Pretty much offensive, and some some of them even like you know representation. They they setting people with disability. Oh my god, this is getting out of hand. This is why internet is crazy, people. This is why internet is crazy. Now. Going back to the situation, I do believe that if it's a war between uh, Iran and the United States, I do believe that Russia and China, we're not going to join it. Definitely, they will just stay there, sit, 
and watch and sending, you know, equipment, uh, sending guns and tanks and oil rather than getting involved. Russia, you know, Russia, just, Russia is not going, it's not afraid of going to war, but they think that it's a waste. It's a waste to go to war on just one people, like a death. You know, it's not like in World War One when a Serbian guy killed a, a Duke of Austria, you know, Prince, and Austria Hungary kind of pissed and declared war on Serbia, and Serbia kind of have a Russian ally. Russia have British and France declare war on Austria, and the Kaiser kind of joined the war. No, it's not going to happen. This is the 21st century. People prefer to live in a better way. People don't really want to go to war. People are afraid of war. World War One was already a mess. And when you have World War Two, it's another big mess. World War Two is like uh, a unfinished version of Apocalypse, you know. It started over again, and then you have the Cold War, you know, people dying because of ideologies. You know, one side takes communism, one side takes uh, democratic, you know. In Korea, if you guys watch any Korean movie about war, if you are labeled being a communist, you're going to be dead. Because in Korea, in South Korea, they hate communists. And in North Korea, they hate democratic people, definitely. So that's, that's the mentality of going to war. And I know people jokes about going to war, you know, memes make you smile, make you laugh. However, if you are in the current situations, you will feel uh, what it's like to be in a war, you know. It's devastating to be, to, to be honest, because my parents, they went through war and they said, oh my God, it's, it's terrible. Don't even mention about going to war. And if it's going to war, it's going to be just United States and Iran, just like USA, Afghanistan, US in Syria, US in Kuwait. Uh, yeah, it's just their involvement. But pretty much the only people that wins the war is the Vietnamese. Definitely the Vietnamese people. So yeah, this is just my take. Uh, pretty much it doesn't sum up anything. All I wanted is a no war. Uh, just a peaceful, you know, maybe they can negotiate or maybe just retaliate in each other. Besides, Iran have nukes as well. The uh, United States also have nukes. Russia also have nukes. Germany, France, UK also have nukes. China also have nukes. North Korea also have nukes. India also have nukes. Pakistan also have nukes. So pretty much just don't nuke in Asia. Just nuke yourself, okay? So yeah, that's my take. Uh, pretty much I don't have anything to talk more.